Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey Edwards for this week's NCDOT Now. A passenger rail groundbreaking is one of many stops for the nation's transportation secretary. Secretary Pete Buttigieg joined state and local officials this week to break ground on the S-Line passenger rail that will connect Raleigh to Richmond, Virginia. It's a thrill to join you to celebrate the groundbreaking of the Durant Road grade separation, the first step toward building the S-Line passenger train from Raleigh to Wake Forest and ultimately onto Richmond. And this is a demonstration of our continued efforts to improve mobility for all North Carolinians. While in North Carolina, he also visited other major projects in the state, such as the Blue Ridge Road Improvement Project in Raleigh and the Winston-Salem Northern Beltway. To learn more about these projects, visit ncdot.gov. Beginning this week, several DMV fees will increase. Under state law, fees for 90 license and registration-related services will rise by about 19%. For example, regular driver's license fees will increase by $1 per year, translating to an additional $5 for a five-year license and $8 for an eight-year license. North Carolina drivers will also notice a new processing fee when using credit or debit cards for DMV transactions in person, online, and at self-service kiosks. To learn more about the changes, visit myncdmv.gov. NCDOT is conducting a public comment period until July 17th to gather input for the state's next 10-year transportation capital plan. Alongside in-person drop-in sessions across all 14 highway divisions, there is also an online survey available for public feedback. To participate in the survey or find details about the in-person meetings, visit NCDOT's website at ncdot.gov slash STI. Communities have more time to enter a contest for the state's best multimodal transportation projects. Through July 10th, NCDOT will accept entries for the 4th MOBI or Mobility Awards. Entries should include projects that serve two or more modes of travel, including roads. For more information and to enter the contest, visit connect.ncdot.gov MOBI. That's all for this week's NCDOT Now. Stay safe, everyone.